right, everybody. Happy summer reading. Yay. So this is my first official virtual summer reading program. Uh, so if you want to finish this program, then at the end, I will give you the code to earn the first potions and programs. So there's that. Uh, we are going to be making a wood photo transfer today. So uh, what you need is uh, something printed out with an inkjet printer and that is very important it needs to be an inkjet printer or the ink won't transfer to the wood properly and then the other things you're going to need is a piece of wood uh, some kind of brush to put the wood the glue on and you're going to need glue and water and something to stir them together in so those are the only things we need uh, so let's get started now this is something that I totally screwed up the first time as you can see this is printed normally if I flip this over and do it, it's going to be backwards. So, instead of using that one, I have this one I printed out in reverse. So we are going to use this one, and that's what you want to do as well. You want to make sure that whatever image you want, whenever we do this, it's going to be backwards. So if it's words or something that needs to be facing the right direction, you need to have it printed in reverse, which is really easy to do. Just open it and flip it vertically and you'll be good to go. All right, so here we go. For our glue, it is three parts glue, one part water. So if you have an entire cup of glue, you need a third of a cup of water. I'm kind of gonna wing it because that's what I do. So I just have regular old Elmer's washable school glue and I'm gonna sploosh it into my cup. And you know what, to make my life easier, I'm gonna take the lid off. And we're just gonna sploosh some glue in our cup. So my cup is see-through so I can see where I'm at. I'm like halfway up and I think that's probably gonna be plenty of glue. So now I'm gonna just add a third of that amount of water in here. And I'd say that looks good. And now we're gonna stir it up. Oop, I got water on the wood, but that's fine. Stir, stir, stir. Now this is not a fast project, so this is definitely this is something that we are going to do this part, and then we are going to sit, and I'm going to come back tomorrow and finish the rest. So you do have to keep that in mind. It is not a one-day project; it is a two-day project. All right, so we are all stirred up there. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to spread my glue over my surface everywhere that my paper has ink, uh, really, so the entire thing here. So I know it goes from edge to edge pretty much and about from here to there. So I will do this whole big square in the middle here. And I'm just gonna pour some glue on here and then we're gonna smear it around. So grab your brush, whatever kind of brush you have, or you could do it with a sponge if you have a sponge and just start moving glue around. Now, it's fine if you have a little too much glue because we're gonna squoosh the glue out onto our edges. So I'm gonna grab a new piece of paper, the old one that we don't want, and stick it under there. And I'm also, to make my life easier, gonna get another craft stick. All right, so now, glue is covering the entire section of my piece of wood. I'm just going to take my piece of paper with my image transferred on it, and we are gonna set it right where we want it. And then to make sure we don't have any air bubbles, we're just gonna press it down and squoosh all that extra glue, this is why I said it didn't matter if there was extra, off of the page. And as you can see, that's also why <laughs> we put a piece of paper over here because it's a lot of excess glue. All right, so we'll just get rid of all of our excess glue. And I'm gonna do this direction. Goodbye glue. And if you don't have craft sticks at home, the same exact thing can be accomplished using any kind of smooth piece of plastic. So if you have um, an old credit card or an old gift card, same thing will work. All right. So now I'm just going to clean up my edges and same way. And then we're going to leave this to sit here and dry until tomorrow. All right. So 
it is ready, totally flat. We scooched all the excess glue out. So this is where we're at today. And I'm gonna set this here. I'm gonna leave it to dry all night and I'll come back tomorrow and we'll do the second part. <laughs> Welcome back. So uh, today is day two. It has been 24 hours since we covered our wood and picture in glue. And so it is perfectly dry and now we're gonna do the next step. So all you need now is you need a rag or something that you can use to put water on it and we're gonna get it wet and then we're gonna just rub the paper off with our thumb. Now, this is probably gonna take a couple different goes at it because there's a lot of paper on here uh, and you don't wanna scrape too hard or you'll scrape the ink up off too. So you gotta kinda be gentle and just kinda rub and just keep doing it. And later when it might dry uh, and you might see that you see more paper, just come back and do the exact same thing again. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started removing some paper. All right, so like I said, just some water. We're gonna get it nice and wet. Oh, see, so you see I scrubbed a little too hard here and I lost all my letters. So, um, <laughs> don't do that, <laughs> mistaken, uh, whoops. But it's fine, we're just gonna keep going um, and I will try not to scrub too hard and remove it all everywhere else, so. Uh, so, uh, things that we're learning are that this is pretty hard to do. <laughs> um, I will show, hold on, let me flip this back over so you can see the side that looks really bad. So I think I pressed way too hard. So note to self, don't press so hard that you pull off all of your ink. Uh, I would say maybe the best thing to do is do it a little bit at a time, uh, get it wet, let it rub some of it off, let it dry, get it wet, rub some of it off. Uh, it's gonna take way longer, but I think you'll have better results than what I did here. And the reason that I say that is because this one here, which you didn't see me doing, but it is a mountain scene, turned out a lot better uh, with keeping ink on than the others did. Now the thing that you see with this one, this here, uh, this area up here and these weird splooshes are because this is the first one I did um, with the glue and I didn't get the glue over the whole picture. So that's something to keep in mind. But it does show that it, it, it will work if you wipe some away, leave it, come back to it. I um, have wiped this one I think on three separate occasions. So maybe that's, some, that's something to keep in mind whenever you do this. Uh, don't try and uh, <laughs> take all of the glue off at once, which is what I was trying to do today and why we have this horrible mess. So don't do this. <laughs> um, instead, let it dry a little bit so that you get better shape um, than, than I did here. So now something else you can do is if you don't wanna mess with the glue, because that is pretty messy, um, Rather than glue, you can do the same thing with acetone. So the way that you would do that is you would take your picture, your image, uh, you want to print it sideways like you have everything else, and then you would lay it flat and you would get a rag and some acetone and you just start rubbing on top of it. So nothing goes under it, the picture just gets taped down. And that also though is going to take several steps. So if you do that, uh, keep that in mind, it's also going to take a good long time. So <laughs> if for some reason, you would love a lovely wood transfer photo frame, which I don't see why you wouldn't. They're pretty cool looking uh, if you get it right. <laughs> keep in mind all of the mistakes that I have made and shown you. Um, and keep in mind what I said about maybe letting it dry uh, in between wiping the glue off. I think that that will give you a lot better results than what I had. Uh, so for following along, the code for this week's potions and programs is super simple. It is literally just 
potions programs one. All right. So if you followed along and you did this, uh, go ahead in there and in Beanstack you can enter that into the activity as the activity secret code potions programs one. Uh, and don't forget that if you share a picture of you having done this with me uh, on our Google Classroom, on Instagram, or on Facebook, then you can earn an interaction badge. So hopefully I will look forward to hearing from you guys. Uh, happy summer. <laughs> Bye.